Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friday, the 14th of July, 2023, of the 14th week, in ordinary time, is the Memorial of St. Kateri Tikawitha, Virgin. My child, say this on every occasion. Lord, if you see that this is expedient and approve it as profitable for me, then grant that I may use it to your honor. But if you know that it will be hurtful to me and not profitable for the salvation of my soul, take away from me such a desire. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, help me to patiently and joyfully accept the hardships, adversities, and persecutions which come my way in serving you and your kingdom of love, truth, and goodness. Strengthen my faith and give me courage that I may not shrink back from doing your will. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Kateri Tekawitha was born around 1656 in the Mohawk village of Osinernon, now Auroville, New York. She lost her parents and brother in a smallpox epidemic at the age of four. From her youth, she invinced on interior innocence refusing her relatives' attempts to arrange a marriage. She embraced the faith at the age of 20 and entered the Jesuit mission at Sal San Louis, near Montreal. There, Katiri devoted herself to good works and to praying for her fellow Mohawks. At the age of 23, she made a public vow of perpetual virginity. Kateri died of illness in 1680. Fifteen minutes after her death, her face, pockmarked with smallpox scars, grew clear and luminous. The Epistle At last I can die now that I have seen for myself that Joseph is still alive. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 46, verse 1. Israel set out with all that was his. When he arrived at Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac. There God, speaking to Israel in a vision by night, called, Jacob, Jacob, he answered, Here I am. Then he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there I will make you a great nation. Not only will I go down to Egypt with you, I will also bring you back here after Joseph has closed your eyes. So Jacob departed from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel put their father and their wives and children on the wagons that Pharaoh had sent for his transport. They took with them their livestock and the possessions they had acquired in the land of Canaan. Thus Jacob and all his descendants migrated to Egypt. His sons and his grandsons, his daughters and his granddaughters, all his descendants, he took with him to Egypt. Israel had sent Judah ahead to Joseph so that he might meet him in Goshen. On his arrival in the region of Goshen, Joseph hitched the horses to his chariot and rode to meet his father Israel in Goshen. As soon as Joseph saw him, he flung himself on his neck and wept a long time in his arms. And Israel said to Joseph, 
at last I can die, now that I have seen for myself that Joseph is still alive. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 37 Responsorial Verse The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and He will grant you your heart's requests. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. They are not put to shame in an evil time, in times of famine. They have plenty. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever, for the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in Him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you to all truth and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 10, verse 16. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speaks, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you. You will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. As he prepared his apostles for their first outing as missionaries, Jesus knew that they would face misunderstanding and persecution. So he warned them, Be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Their shrewdness would enable them to take strategic advantage of opportunities to preach when they arose. Their simplicity would help them to proclaim the gospel boldly and clearly. 
one person who admirably lived out this dual call was Blessed Victoria Razoamana Rivo of Madagascar from 1848 to 1894. Born a princess of the ruling tribe, Victoria was raised in the indigenous belief of her ancestors. At the age of 15, she asked to be baptized and despite her family's disapproval, was finally granted permission. Although she wanted to enter religious life, her family had betrothed her to the eldest son of the island's new prime minister. The man was neither a believer nor a faithful husband. Victoria simply prayed for him and he was baptized just before his death 22 years later. Victoria's missionary work began during the Malagasy French War of 1883 to 1885. When foreign missionaries were expelled from Madagascar, the French priest entrusted her with the care of the Catholic community. Then when guards prevented people from entering the cathedral, Victoria courageously and shrewdly stood up to them. If you must have blood, begin by shedding mine. The guards relented. Victoria also used her influence to protect and defend Catholics by appealing to the Queen and Prime Minister to keep Catholic schools and churches open. They eventually agreed and when Catholic missionaries returned to the island in 1886, they were met with a community of nearly 21,000 believers. The people had persisted in faith largely because of Victoria's courageous and single-minded efforts. You may not have been born into an earthly royal family, but you do belong to the family of a king. You too have been sent out to proclaim the good news. In what simple or strategic ways might you advance the kingdom of God today? Lord, help me to use the opportunities you give me to advance your kingdom. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.